You're awesome, guys. Fix where you're going here today. So, you're going to take a look at the brand new AW and Rivals figures, which are shown today at AW Fan Fest. And yeah, guys, obviously, we've got the AW pay per view revolution revelations. I think that's um, where it is tomorrow. And yeah, they've shown loads of brand new figures. And the first thing we're going to take a look at, we're going to go straight into it, is this AW and Rivals CM Punk. And finally, guys, we've got an AW and Rivals CM Punk figure. And this is the regular version. So, as you can see, it comes with a cloth hoodie. The long tights attire this will be the regular attire and it looks an amazing figure it's the only thing is the legs do look a bit too skinny but i'm still going to pick this up and a lot of you guys are as well but um yeah this is an insane figure and he will be the chase and i don't know what series this is um i wasn't paying attention I'm just, there's so many um images and i think i've got uh, most of the ones shown and yeah this punk is amazing and the chase is even better and i know a lot of people are going to want the chase as the main version but this is the regular version and as you see here here's the back and yeah it comes with the cloth hoodie with the picture there of his dog or yeah i think that's his dog yeah um on the back which is yeah right that's the regular cm punk version which i'm gonna get and i even want to try and get the chase because look at this guys we obviously got the chase in the trunks and yeah, you know, um, Jazz were an AW, they were going to make this to chase. Um, obviously, a lot of us wanted it the other way around. This is the regular version, so we could all get this, and this is going to be so hard to get. A lot of people want to get this attire in his trunks. But yeah, man, like this this figure looks insane. I don't know, I feel like maybe the upper torso is a little bit off, but I'm still going to get it. Well, I'm going to try and get it because it's going to be the chase, and I don't know um, what it's going to be out of, but. I'm definitely going to try and get like my first chase because yeah I want to get this and keep this mark this would be a nice piece in the collection and yeah I haven't really been collecting Mattel or AW in a while but just seeing all these images today is like it's just wow like blown me away I just want to collect a lot of these because they've done a good job on a lot of these figures we're going to look at in today's video and next we're the next figure and yeah I think this was um, Jericho has said on there on the caption which Oh, yeah, I'm not too sure um, about this figure, like the, where the attire is from, etc. I probably will pass on this. But um, yeah, I just put up here the um, picture um, here. And then we got this MJF, and this figure is probably the best MJF um, to date. Like, look at the attire, obviously. The wire attire is always in Mattel or an AW and Rivals series. It looks clean. And yeah, this is the, the the white and the purple really pops off. The head scan, um, maybe the other ones are a bit better, but for the attire, I think this is the best attire. Even the head scan, maybe a lot of you guys might like this. But yeah, this is a really cool MJF attire, and I know a lot of people are going to be happy with this um, MJF, and probably think it's the best one they've done today. I might pick this up. I'm not sure because. I already got the other MJF, and then again, some of these um, figures, guys, I'm not too familiar who they are, because like I said, I haven't really been keeping up to date with wrestling in general, or I've been with WWE, but AW, I'm quite out of the loop, but I do want to watch the pay-per-view, so um, yeah, I'm not too familiar who she is, um, but yeah, I know I thought a lot of you guys are probably excited for the figure anyway, so I thought I'd put her in, um, so some people in here don't really know, and then here we've got Cody, who's currently not with AEW, but he's bound to come back. Um, who knows with that whole situation. But anyway, we've got Cody Rosie in like, his like, promo attire. So we've got like, the suit on, the jacket, really cool Cody. And yeah, I'm going to try and get this um, as well. I think it's just in the regular AEW unrivaled figure. So we've got Cody there um, suited up. And nice to see a Cody in the suit um, they made there. And yeah, cool figure. Comes with a microphone. As well, I'm not sure if it comes to any of accessories. And next, you got Hangman Adam Page. And look at this this head scan spot on for Hangman Page. This might be the best head scan they made for him. He got the beer there in his hand. The only um, downside to this figure is the shirt, like it's painted on, which I wish they gave him like an actual like shirt or something. But it still looks a really cool figure. So we got his promo tie with the shirt, the jeans. The head scan is phenomenal. So that's like the one good thing I like about it. And obviously, it's a promo. Hangman Adam Page, and a lot of you guys are probably going to get this anyway. But I'm just not too sure how I feel about like the shirt painted on because I wasn't really a big fan of that from Mattel. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's a really cool figure. Like I said, the head scan I think is the best one, like definitely captures um, Hangman Page well. Next figure, again, guys, 
I'm not too familiar who this is, but um, yeah, I thought I'd put a quick image in of it anyway. Um, like I said, I really need to start watching AW because it's a lot of good storylines I've heard in like some of the like, matches have been really good. I just haven't got around to watching it, but I will try and watch most of the pay-per-view. Next we got um, Will Hobbs and yeah man this is a really cool figure and um, this is a figure a lot of people are excited for um here so we've got the black and orange attire we've got the white boots head scan looks um pretty good and you got the tattoos there the white wrist tape and yeah cool figure um i might not might pass on this because i'm like i said i'm not too familiar with a lot of these people on aw at the moment but i know like he's a big star in aw and yeah this is gonna be a good figure and one a lot of people want next we've got eddie kingston and this is a um i don't know about this figure just the legs seem a bit too big to the crotch and like the head skin looks a bit off we're gonna have to wait and see final production on this one because i'm not too sure how i feel about this figure um but you guys let me know in the comments down below as well um what you think about some of these figures if they could improve or something looks off or if it's like everything's perfect etc Again, moving to another debatable one, we got Christian. Like the figure from like the neck down is amazing, but the head scan just I don't know, it just doesn't really look like Christian. I think like Mattel's one looked a lot better, but again, we have to wait for final production. It could look better, worse, who knows? But other than that, cool figure, first time to line in the AW and rivaled series. We got Christian again. I'll probably pass on this because I got a Mattel one. But yeah, if you guys like the AW, like a rival series like torsos or like the figures, etc., you're obviously gonna want to get this. But I'm just not too sure about the head scan. But um, yeah, we got Christian here. Next, we got Brian Cage. Um, first time to the line as well. But AW and rival figures we've got the black and white attire there. And yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. The head scan looks um, pretty much accurate. The tur like part choice looks really good. And yeah, you see the back of the trunks and the attire are really cool. And yeah, I don't really have any um, thing to say. I think to change on that figure, maybe the head scan, maybe just something's off about. I can just point my finger on it. But other than that, it's a really cool figure. But I don't think I'll pick her up to be honest. Next, we got Thunder Rose, and I think she's the chase in this set. This is the regular attire, um, I think. So yeah. Really cool Thunder Rose um, AW figure right here. And yeah, this comes with the black attire with a cool entrance jacket. And we'll look at the chase in the moment. Um, Rose there on the back. And yeah, cool accessory there with a the jack full of detail going on with the sculpting on the back um, of the figure right there. And now we'll take a look at the um, chase right now, which is, I don't know which one I think is better. I mean, the attire looks stands out a bit more on this. Obviously, there we got the blue attire. There you see the tattoo a bit better there as well. But um, I'm not sure if it comes with any of her accessories. But this is the image here for Thunder Rose, and I think this is the chase out of the set. If I did get any of these wrong guys with the chases, um, I forgot I'm like back to front, like the other um, Thunder Rose's chase, etc. Let me in the comments down below. But I think this is the chase um, for the set. Again, another person I'm not too familiar with. I thought it was Darby Allen at first, but it's not. But um, yeah, I'm not too familiar who this is, guys, but I thought I'd put a picture in for you guys anyway. And yeah, that's another one. I'm not sure what series most of these are in as well. Next, we got Warlow and Man. Like the MGF, what a cool figure. The white, the purple, really stands out. Um, I think this is better than this first um, AW figure we got because the attire stands out. I think it's, is it the same head scan? I'm not too sure, so I didn't pick up that figure. But if I was going to pick up a Wallow figure, I think you should pick up this one. Because um, this one, I think, looks better than the original. But if you've got the original, you might not want to get this. I'm not sure. But I think this is a better attire. And yeah, this looks like a really cool, clean figure of Wardload right here. And yeah, next we've got in um, the set is... Well, I'm not sure if it's in the same set as this. So, Like I said, I wasn't really looking at the sets when... This was so excited. We got Taz, and this looks like a cool figure. The only thing is, he looks really short in this image here. But the head scan looks um, spot on. We got the jacket, the attire, got the microphone. Pretty simple, to be honest. But 
I don't know why else you would want with a Taz figure. So yeah, that's a really cool Taz figure. I don't know if the height's a bit, if it's not accurate or not. But um, yeah, we got Taz. And next we got Andrade. And this figure looks insane. The only thing is the head scan looks a, like a bit too cartoony or something with this. But other than that, like, we've got the um, the attire with like the stripes going down there. We've got the um, interchangeable head scan with a mask. Like this, this is a cool figure. I am going to get this Andrade um, figure. This is really cool. I can't wait to see this in final production. But uh, yeah, really cool with the mask as well. And let me know what you thought of that figure. Next, we've got Miro. And this is a figure which um, I didn't get the first one, but this looks 10 times better. The head scan, but if, I think this is a different head scan, but this looks spot on um, for Miro. The red, the gold tie, this attire looks amazing in figure form. And I don't know, the first one just, I can't remember what it was, but something was off with our first figure of Miro but this one looks completely better kind of the TNT title as well and yeah you see his back of the attire tattoo as well I'm definitely gonna probably get this Miro figure um, even though I don't really watch too much AW and I've seen too many of his matches but this is a really cool figure so I probably will try and pick this up when it comes out I'll probably wait for most of these to come out in the UK I don't know I might pre-order some on ringside like the Punk but um, yeah we'll see and next we got Jake Hager and yeah I'll probably pass on this figure um, but yeah, still looks like an alright figure. We've got the screaming head scan um, as well of Jake Hager right here. And now we'll take a look at the back as well. But um, yeah, like I said, I'll probably pass on this figure. Maybe you might want to pass where you've got the other Jake Hager. But um, yeah, I'm not even too sure where that attire is from. Next, we have Brit Breaker. And yeah, this looks like a cool figure with the red and black attire. Um, we've got the title there as well. And yeah, we got Britt Baker, um, AEW, unrivaled figure here. And we're going to be looking into another new series a bit. Well, right now, actually, we've got this new AEW series called Supreme. And man, this series looks amazing. So, as you can see, we got this Cody here, but it's not just an unrivaled figure. We've got a spare, like a tire, so you can just switch the torso on. So, on you see there, we got the red and gold attire. Um, to switch out comes with that epic entrance jack kids multiple head scans i'm really looking forward to this new set they're going with um so they're putting in like multiple tires in the set um which is cool because you don't really need another torso and stuff when you think about it if you just put like a few tires in and yeah this is like a really cool series i'm looking forward to and seeing what they're doing with this going forward so you just switch out the tires again brett baker here you can swap out the torso We've got in change by head scans Got the white and gold attire and yeah i'm looking forward to this series um i think this is part of that series as well but um yeah it looks like it's interchangeable um lower half there as well but yeah i'm looking forward to this series going forward because just from these images here they look pretty insane i'm happy they did something like this to switch out the um attires because it's so easy obviously to take the torsos off these unrivaled figures so it does make sense just to like Put a few um, tires into like a special set like this. I don't know how much these are gonna price or, um, are gonna be on these, but um, yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know even know when he's got for pre-order. And next, man, look at this Malachi Black. This is probably what, like the one I'm looking forward to the most. And yeah, as you can see there, we got his entrance gear on. We got the mask, got the tattoos, and this is probably maybe my favorite shown today. Like. Malachi Black and AEW unrivaled for them, especially like like the mask. Got the, like like I said, the entrance gear is going to be coming with interchangeable head scans as well, and the tires. And uh, this is going to be part of the Supreme set as well, I think. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And I know a lot of you guys are as well. As you see there, we got the other attire. Cause he got like the trunks, and then he wore like the shorts as well. So yeah, you're going to be able to swap that out. And um, at the different attires right there for Malachi Black. And yeah, really cool figure right there. And I can't wait for that figure, guys. I might have to pre order that. I don't even know um, I don't um, when these are going to be coming out because they did a lot of series like for Unrivaled. I don't even know what series we're currently on, but they released like obviously a lot of figures here. And next, we got this ringside exclusive Brody Lee. And I think, oh, I can't remember his name now, but it's his son, I believe, ain't it? 
But yeah, man, this is a really cool set of rings. So it's loose. I'm definitely going to pre order this. And I'll keep this in the box. And yeah, got the white jacket there. And this is just a nice set to see. And I know a lot of you guys are going to want to get this. Support Brody Lee. And yeah, rest in peace um, to Brody Lee, man. So sad what happened. But um, yeah, really cool set right here. And I will be pre ordering this. And this is a nice um, piece to keep mock. And. Yeah, guys, that's the ringside exclusive um, pack right there. And next we've got is, again, another part of the AW um, Supreme set we're going to be looking at in the set is Kenny Omega. And, guys, look at this. Kenny Omega with not just one, but, like, four head scans right here in two amazing attires. So the current one's just the black and white with a more updated look with a beard then we've got the head scans the title the jacket and the attire there with the white and blue what a cool set this is again another set i want to get so many fit figures here i want to get which <laughs> i've been not really buying figures recently been trying to like lay off it but looking at all these figures shown today i'm just like <laughs> i need to get these because they look spot on there with the butterfly joints as well more articulation and i'm really looking forward to this series but um yeah, guys, that's been all of mo well most of the figures shown today um, at the fan fest. And yeah, guys, um, time recording this, there wasn't any others like shown, but it might be more. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, guys, um, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and what's your favorite figure shown today, your least favorite. And yeah, guys, all that good stuff in the comments down below. Please like the video already, subscribe, you're on to get. Thanks for watching and bye for now.